Hey everyone, Steve here. It's Thursday 19th of March. Just wanted to give you an update on everything travel that's happening at the moment. Coming up, we've got Lauren to give you some good news and updates on what's uh, going on in the rest of the world. But first, a couple of updates from me. If you had travel booked um, to go on holiday over the next sort of 30 days, obviously, no surprise, it's been cancelled. But just from us, from Not Just Travel, and anyone else in the travel industry, please bear with us. Um, for now, because we know there's a huge amount of sort of paperwork uh, to do in order to process refunds, get things rebooked, and uh, assist customers. I think never before have we seen so much activity in such a short space of time in the travel industry as a whole. Um, so please sort of just give everyone a little bit of patience. We're working through bookings in order of priority. That's not just us, that's the sort of the industry as a whole. Um, and we will get to you um, very quickly. So what is happening with lots of bookings at the moment is operators. Uh, Jet2 is a sort of very well-known uh, package holiday operator, for example. They're issuing uh, vouchers for rebooking. Now this is really good news because what's happening is you get to rebook your other holiday and you get a voucher for it. So if there's no cost to rebook it in effect for later in the year, um, but you can also even get more money off your next booking. Now to get that voucher, go back to the person you booked your holiday through. So if you booked it through one of our fantastic, not just travel consultants, go back to them. They'll help you get rebooked and they'll give you a voucher to get money off your next booking as well. And the process is dead simple. Lots of, uh, lots of other operators are following suit. So we're seeing lots more vouchers coming out to help customers. It's actually a really quicker and easier way rather than trying to wait for refunds and get things uh, rebooked. So they better get you rebooked really quick. Now talking about rebooking might be a bit strange at the moment, but actually there's some really good deals out there at the moment. So um, if you can check out our website, notjusttravel.com, but across the entire travel industry, there are some great deals to be had if you're in the mood to book a holiday. Obviously not everyone is at the moment, that's, that's great, not a problem, but do check out some of the deals. For example, we're seeing some amazing deals to places like Mardi Gras in the States, we're seeing sort of Atlantis de Palm, um, exceptional deals that you probably won't have seen before so they've sort of been put in place there to encourage you to rebook and it's a really good way of supporting the travel industry uh, book pay a low deposit and pay monthly is another great way of doing it gives you the confidence why not get next year's holiday booked right now as well um, also you know it's worth checking uh, with your insurance company if you need to about getting things rebooked uh, lots of questions about that coming in to us but First and foremost is go back to the person you booked your holiday through, they'll help you get things rebooked. And another thing for me is now's a really good time to be supporting your local businesses. All across the country, Not Just Travel has hundreds of home workers, uh, personal travel consultants who help people just like you book their holidays. Uh, this is the perfect time to be supporting them and other local businesses um, just during this time uh, that everyone's sort of pulling together across the nation question I've also been asked today, I've uh, been on the radio a few times actually today on the BBC, uh, helping people deal with questions. So if you're one of these people that fall into this category who are still on holiday, uh, you're very lucky, well done, but you might like to consider getting flights rebooked um, in order to get back home again before airlines start shutting down before the next sort of 30 days uh, where the sort of country um, sort of really just comes together and focuses on dealing with the problem. Um, you might want to do that. Okay, that's enough from me. Now we're going to go over to Lauren. Hi everyone, Lauren here from the head office of Not Just Travel. So we do update the pages daily on our website for all things coronavirus. So you can head to notjusttravel.com and check it out on there. You'll also be able to find your local personal travel consultant as well. So if you're following our social media accounts, you would have seen today that we've launched our Travel Diaries campaign to help inspire you and keep you dreaming of all your holidays. We all need something to look forward to and I'm already planning my next getaway as well. Um, so we're hoping that this is gonna inspire you. We're encouraging you to get involved. So either send us in or comment a photo of a really amazing trip that you've been on recently. We wanna hear about all your once in a lifetime trips that you've taken or any special moments that you've had on holiday. We want you to share your stories with us. Um, also share any top tips that you've got for the destination you've been to as well. We really welcome all of this as well, so check that out. Little bit of feel good news for you. 
So penguins at the Shedd Aquarium in the States have been allowed to roam the aqua aquarium freely whilst it's shut to visitors. So they're now going on field trips to go see all their fellow animals. The caretakers are getting really creative in how they provide enrichment to the animals um, and encouraging them to explore. It's super cute, um, so check it out. We'll share it on our Facebook page later so you can also take a look into this. Last week, it was reported that after 240 days, all bushfires in New South Wales were put out for the first time, which is amazing news. This was posted on the Twitter account of New South Wales Rural Fire Service. Um, so Kangaroo Island is still suffering from a few of the effects, however they are welcoming guests, so this is really great news for Australia. If you haven't seen also, National Trust Parks in the UK are aiming to keep many of its gardens and parks open and free to enter, so make sure you check out any that are nearby to you. Um, for any of you who are wondering what you're going to do now that the children are off school from tomorrow, rest assured we've got you covered. Watch this space and um, we'll be posting some details over the next few days. That's everything from me. Who doesn't love a good penguin story? So that's it from us for today. We'll be back with more updates soon. Remember that most people are rebooking their holidays at the moment. I mentioned the vouchers. Even if you're not sort of getting vouchers from operators, this is a great time to rebook your holiday. Support the travel trade, uh, but also kind of have something to look forward to, whether it be for later this summer or next year, get your holiday rebooked. And even if you're not ready to book, start looking yeah have something to look forward to get some inspiration talk to your local travel consultant they'll be happy to help you can find yours at notjusttravel.com but also find out all the latest on the covid19 updates from us and uh, we've got some really useful links to other uh, websites that you might find useful in this time thanks for watching